What's up everyone? Welcome to week three of the Q&A videos. Uh, it's kind of been snowing and bad weather lately, so I haven't been making any writing videos. But my friend Kevin is supposed to bring his Sabrosa Street Rail soon, and we're going to make an edit on that. A little split edit. So in the meantime, I'm going to do a Q&A video. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment in this video, and I might answer them in my next week's Q&A video. Again, I do these every weekend, so feel free to leave a question if you guys have one. So I have 10 minutes to answer as many questions as I can in the part 2 video. So uh, the first question is from Epic X Gaming, and he asked, asked uh, why did you stop gaming? Pretty much I stopped gaming uh, last December. It's January, so not last, not this last December, but last year's December. Um, I quit gaming, I sold my PS3, and that was because I was going into college and I was working, so I didn't have time to go to school go to work, go to the gym, ride bikes. There was just too much on my schedule to do, and plus um, I just didn't have any time in my schedule to balance out with gaming and everything else, so I just decided to sell it. And, you know, sometimes I really do miss playing, like Call of Duty and stuff. I used to love playing that, but gotta do what you gotta do, gotta move on in life. So, yeah, that hope that answers your questions. Um, I answered that question already before. Or, uh, Re Regain Films asked, would you start making webisodes? Um, if I had a lot more subscribers, then I'd start making webisodes. I don't think I'm going to uh, try really hard to make webisodes because, like, I, I know I have, like, close to 16,000 subscribers, but I've been looking at my uh, videos lately, and they'd be getting, like, 4,000 views or less. So if I get more views, more subs, then maybe in the future I will. Um, uh, another question is Pimpin BMX asked, "Would you ever consider switching back to a free coaster?" Part of me really does want to go to a free coaster, but at the, at the same time, I kind of don't. I just don't want to get the free coaster and then lose a lot of my cassette tricks. But at the same time, I'm going to learn a lot of free coaster tricks. But then again, I have to get used to the free coaster, and I, I feel like it's going to just take a, a long time for me to learn a bunch of tricks on the free coaster. And sometimes I really don't like having no slack. Like, I like having pedal pressure for uh, full cabs and stuff. Like, if I get, I feel like if I get a free coaster, it's, it's a lot harder to put pedal pressure because there is none because of the slack, and I just have to, like, pop it. And the same thing with bar spins. It kind of feels weird to do bar spins on a free coaster. I could still do them. It just feels weirder. But I would definitely learn a lot more tricks if I had a free coaster. So, um, again, I had a free coaster a long time ago, but I didn't really ride well, so I sucked on it. But... I don't know, maybe I might get a free coaster in the future, I don't know, not sure. Um, Connor McKenna, McKenna uh, asked, what trick would you like to learn that you haven't already? Um, I would like to learn flat threes because I just can't get those at all. Every time I try them, I always tap and I'm pretty sure the reason is because I don't suck up my back end and that's just a problem I have. And another trick is I kind of want to learn there's a lot I want to learn. I want to learn Smith 180s, tail whips, and 360s. Those are like the main ones. And I just want to get my 180 bar spins cleaner. The reason why I can't get 180 bars that clean is because I do a switch 180 to regular bar spin. So when I land, I land at a, kind of like a dead stop and it's kind of harder to fakey. But I'm just going to practice those tricks throughout the spring, summer. Next question is Willie Hernandez asked, what does your family think about you doing BMX? Um, my family doesn't really like me riding because uh, they think since I get hurt too much, they don't want me riding. Uh, they don't really support it at all. Um, I know some ri some people, their parents do support it and some of them don't because they get hurt. Again, my, my parents don't really understand BMX the way we guys do, so they don't really support it. However, someone else asked, um, what does my girlfriend think about me riding? Um, I forgot who asked that question. can't really see it here. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, there we go. BMX is the world. He said, what does your girlfriend think about your whole BMX and YouTube career? She's pretty supportive, actually, um, and I really like that. Uh, I always tell, like, right now I was talking to her, and then I was like, I got to call you back because I have to make this video because it's the only time I get to make it at, on the weekends. So she's really supportive. She, she actually watches all my videos with me. So, like, not with me, but, yeah, she just watches a lot of my videos. Um, if I land something on my bike, I'll send her a video of it. Um, she actually even knows a lot of the tricks because I show her like a lot of videos that come out like on the come up. She, she's even following the come up on Instagram and everything. So she's pretty cool into that. Um, 
and I truly like that she's supportive about that. Um, Brandon BMX asked, have you ever met a pro BMX rider in person? If so, who was it? I don't know if you guys know this, but the last do tour was in Brooklyn and like every pro rider that was there I met. I came there really early with my friend Kevin and Will and I got, I got to meet Alex Kennedy, Bruno Hoffman, Dakota Roche. Uh, pretty much everyone that was in the do tour, Chad Curley, Garrett Reynolds, um, Nigel Sylvester lives in New York, so I always um, see him a lot. Ralphie Ramos was there. Just a, I pretty much met a lot of BMX riders, like a ton. So, um, yeah. Kevin Jackson asked, do you ride dirt jumps? Um, I actually do ride dirt jumps, but very, very rarely. Maybe like three or four times a year. Well, we have dirt jumps where I live in my neighborhood. Not in my neighborhood, but in my borough. Um, but it's kind of like a 40 minute ride over there but if I drive there it's probably be like a 15 minute drive so I'll probably I usually go dirt jumping with my friends if I get like a big group of like my close friends like four or five people and if I do go I don't really throw big tricks just maybe do like an ET or try to uh, I mainly every time I go I'm not really experienced at dirt jumping so I just try to pump the track as much as I can and when I, as soon as I get like high air maybe I'll throw some tricks in um, Infinite Tricks Infinity said, this isn't really a, well, he said, can you say the following, Zach and Root Beer in a tree? Okay, there you go, I said that for you. Um, answered that already. Dylan Ewan said, have you ever had thoughts of doing something else instead of BMX? Not really, the only thing I do instead of BMX is go to the gym. Um, sometimes I play basketball and, and other sports, but nothing else. Josh Nicholson asks, what's your favorite type of food and drink? I love steak and anything that's good in protein because you guys know I go to the gym, so anything with protein in it I like. So I really like chicken, uh, steak, and Panda Express is a really good place to eat. I really like going there. Chipotle is good. Uh, favorite drink? Probably be water. Um, what else? Just mainly water. Um, I drink. I'll drink pretty much anything um, that tastes good. <laughs> don't uh, don't get me wrong. Um, Michael Lopez asked, "What trick was the hardest to learn?" Um, I think the hardest trick to learn was. Gotta think about that one. I think foot and tail whips was the hardest to learn because I was really committed to them. And it kind of took a while to get the whole bike around, and that was because you have to get used to the kick and where you have to jam your foot into the tire. Also, as a beginner, 180s took me a while to learn, believe it or not. Like, like if you learn a trick, you're going to be like, wow, why did it take me so long to learn that? It was easy. But learning it, it's just really hard. Also, manual 180s was very hard for me to learn, and I got them now. But, yeah, um, TB BMX said, what's your take on BMX racing? Um, I don't really... Do BMX racing, so I don't really know. Um, I'm not against it, but yeah, I'm just gonna see how long this video is because I don't want to go again. All right, so I have a bit, of, about a minute and a half left. Um, I don't know how to say it, but it says D A R R A G H Brian. I think B Y R N E said it kind of seems like you're losing interest in BMX. Do you think this is the case? That's not the case at all. It may seem like the case only in winter because I don't really ride that much in the winter because of school and college. I mean, that's the same thing about school and work and because of the weather is just really bad in the winter that, that's why it kind of looks like I'm losing interest but I'm honestly not um, like every day I want to ride and I just miss riding a lot so no I'm not losing interest in riding um, Lion Rin Cho asks are you one of those riders that do drugs while riding like to come up nope I don't um, do any of that I don't smoke or drink um, because I feel like, why would I do any of that? Like, if you, if you think about it, why would you do any of that? Um, because it's going to just mess up your body. And I just don't want anything to mess up my body because I want to be able to ride for as long as I can. Especially if I go to the gym. And if you guys drink and go to the gym, you're not going to be making any kinds of gains. And the same thing when you, when you smoke, that's just going to mess up your lungs. You're going to be, you could, you're just going to be more tired when you ride. And... Personally, why does anyone do that? You, you guys should just stay healthy and try to ride for as long as you can. Because um, you, 
guys don't want to be 30 or 40 years old and already having trouble breathing and all that, so I just never smoke or drink. Um, let's see. What was your Fit by Co. 2025 says, what was your worst fall or fail? And I think this is going to be my last question because it's past 10 minutes. These 10 minutes fly by really quick and I barely get to answer questions. But he said my worst fail or fall, um, my worst fall is when I did an ice pick down a rail at an indoor skate park. And I thought, I don't know, I was just feeling confident because I did a hanger down it first try. And I was like, oh, I'm going to go for ice pick. And I didn't really have ice picks that on lock. So I did an ice pick, but I didn't keep the front end up. So my front end dropped and like I fell to the ground. And when I rolled over, my bike, it hit, there was a ramp next to it. So it hit the bike. I mean, it hit the ramp and then it uh, bounced and then the peg I think it was or the pins of my pedal hit me right here in my eyebrow like twice while I was wearing a helmet and it kind of like cut it open and then I needed I needed to get eight stitches and another fall that I had was it was kind of like a collision I was at a skate park and you guys know skate parks can be sometimes like really really packed and I, and I was just riding I was going I think I was going up a ramp to go back down as I was going up there was a skateboarder coming also up a ramp and he was coming down I think it was or maybe he was just riding by and lost control but I'm turning and I just couldn't avoid it I, I, like as soon as I turn he like comes into me and he just hit me really hard because I think when you're skateboarding you're standing and when you're riding you're like kind of hunched over your bike so his shoulder I think it was or something hit me like on the half left side of my face and then we both kind of fell but when I woke up I think he was unconscious and his glasses flew off or whatever but my nose was just dripping blood and my eye was hurting, like the whole left side of my face just felt numb, like really numb, I couldn't feel it. So then I quickly went um, back on the train because I was in the city, so I, I went on the train to go home. And that took me like 40 minutes to get home and halfway on the train, I'm sitting there and then I feel something like just as a balloon just like swell up on my face. So I look at the front facing camera and I have this huge um, swollen eye and I was like, oh my God, that just scared me and I came home and as I'm like brushing off my nose in the bathroom, there's just gushing blood. So I went to the emergency room and they said that I had a fractured eye socket. Um, I guess because I hit him too hard and they said you might need surgery, uh, come back in a week. Uh, I came back in a week, they gave me like steroids, not the steroids that you inject yourself, but it's just steroids to reduce the swelling because my eye was like, it was like literally like this, like you could see it was really bad. And that slowly went down, but for a whole month, like my lip and just I couldn't feel my face it was like really numb for a whole month mainly like this portion and like I felt like my nose was kind of broken but it wasn't it was just my eye socket that was fractured and my sinus he said something lateral sinus fracture or something I don't know but I fractured some a bunch of stuff in my face like on my left side but it healed perfectly within a month and a week and I was perfectly fine after that um, and I don't feel any, I didn't need to get any surgery or nothing. They said that orbital eye fracture or whatever heals pretty well on its own. So that good, good thing that healed well. And those were just the only two really, really bad falls. Other than that, I just had like some cuts and whatever, which gives me like scars and whatever. But those are the worst falls. Uh, sorry if this video is really long. Uh, I barely got to answer questions. I'm sorry. Um, I just don't think anybody would sit here for over 10 minutes listening to me talk. So I barely got through questions again, I'm sorry. But leave a comment and I'm trying my best to answer them in the next video. Thank you guys for watching, peace.